What's up lovely people? Welcome to another Warframe video. If you do end up liking the video, please do like, subscribe. It does mean a lot to me. Having a community that can, you know, enjoy the games I play and the content I create. So yeah, it would be uh, great, greatly appreciated. Anyway, on to today's video. We've got the new free roam on Deimos and it's, you know, it's, it's generally a pain in the wisp. It's cool to watch two giant centipede worm things shoot freaking laser beams at each other when it changed from like, you know, day to night and vice versa. So, I thought I'd give you a nice ass build for our literally hot Warframe fan service Ember. For this build, it's built quite well for all abilities, but I mainly look at the fourth ability, the CC. You want to look at efficiency, somewhat range, and a nice amount of strength. The duration is in cahoots with the efficiency for Ember's fourth ability with energy per enemy, but with high enough efficiency, I don't give us extra. For the build, I built specifically for health rather than shield since infested, seriously don't care and just go straight for your health, bypassing all shield, so you might as well put on the vitality. Now, if you want to know how I acquire the mods, I'll put down the description for the sources of the mods below, because I know like, somebody asked the other day for stuff like that, so I thought, yeah, there we go, we'll do that then. I'll put a wiki link below as well as the sources, just so you can find out for yourselves in case I wasn't clear enough. And just to give a bit of an explanation for the questions that you may be pondering, I used Transient Fortitude instead of Blind Rage since, you know, efficiency is worth more than duration in this build and doesn't lower it by a staggering amount, absolutely kicking your ass with efficiency. And yes, with enough farmer, you could add better mods and even max out mods fully, making this, you know, an improvable build to say the very least. As I always say, my builds are not perfect, they're not the best in the world, they're just builds that I find myself to be using because I find them really good personally. If you can give recommendations for improvements in the comments below, fine by me. I personally don't have the Umbral Former to make Umbral Intensify stronger and, you know, add Umbral Vitality, but if you as an individual can spare it, might as well do it. <laughs> it makes it better at the end of the day. Overextended wasn't used for the simple fact it lowers the strength by, you know, like, a large amount. So, you know, it would sort of make it redundant if you were just adding all the range, because Eber found a level 50 to 20, but level 40 plus, she's just crap. One thing I will say to you all, I do recommend adding the Augment mod for a fourth ability, if you want to add the energy gain to using her fourth ability, because it is a pain in the ass, especially when you're using a second ability, so you can you know, sort of have like your own little arcane energizer. And if you do want a recommendation for what to swap it out for, I'd recommend swapping out the Augur Secrets if, and I mean if, you are willing to add an x adapter to her. Because you can just add Power Drift to make it, you know, a 9% decrease in ability strength, which isn't that bad. Or you could even just add the ability range one. I'll put it on screen now because I can't remember the name off by heart. <laughs> As usual, the arcanes I use are literally randoms that I put on. So if any of you do have recommendations for Arcanes, go ahead, put them in the comments below. I myself would like some idea on what might be good for Ember. Not a big fan of Arcanes normally, like acquiring and whatnot, so I'll let you guys sort that out. So remember, you're helping a dude, aren't you? Anyways guys, that'll be the end of the video for today. I really do appreciate some of you reaching out in the comments, whether it's asking questions, leaving positive comments, or maybe even just giving me recommendations. I really do appreciate it, so thank you. I am currently in the midst of deciding on maybe some other side games I could play, just to keep the channel a bit interesting, you know. It's, it's fun popping out all these Warframe videos, but I'd like to, you know, keep the content a bit fresh. I'm hoping to pull out some more comedic videos like I had in the old days with John, like that one UFC video I did. Or that Rainbow Six video where I decided to irritate the limbo out of some randoms. Shut the <laughs> oh no, I'm not a mirror. <laughs> How about we just So I'll leave it there anyway. So I'll see y'all in the next one, dudes and dudettes. See ya. <laughs>